all right so what is good everybody this is of course your boy b bullet rc coming at y'all again with yet boy and today i really i really don't think y'all ready we got early heat shot drops first looks from what i know let me just let me just just peep the table hopefully this don't fall over here we go look look all right okay oh wait let me keep pull oh, all right you see it right make sure you drop that like finesse the bell and sub up as well listen more videos on the way and we gotta please those algorithm gods so we got a lot to get into today i don't want to waste no more time because i mean y'all see i don't even i would usually just pick out the boxes and ding all the numbers but it's it's just too much let's get it first box let's go ahead and get these out of the way because they've been sitting for a good little second we got the nike and social stats okay the backdoor bonanza allegedly pair of nike attack sps listen it's all a legend i know i know it's a joke okay listen social stats blam y'all see them details as always crazy on these y'all see the bag right there like almost like a little bodega bag right there the social currency in place of you know food stamps or ebt y'all see right there blam just peep the shoe box itself the shoe box itself just goes absolutely insane man even got the newspaper on the inside of these joints details all the way through the silver lining pair of nike attacks i'm gonna still call mag attacks but the social status joints right here of course with the removable swoosh all over pretty rough suede on this but you can remove this satin right here as well as the satin around the ankle collar and it kind of is like a peachy color just like that nike right there and they even come with extra laces as y'all can see next one we got right here is yes i did go ahead and pick these up i was talking about these a few times on the uh, gloves off pod and was like, yo, I'm probably gonna end up going for them. Funny thing about this shoe is that I did actually hit on Adidas Confirm, but the bank actually flagged these boots as being like counterfeit. They asked me, yo, is this you? And I didn't see it in time. So my confirm order never went through, but luckily I was able to get these on the second hand pretty easily. And right now, depending on your size, they're definitely under retail. So the duck boots are falling back. I wouldn't mind if they dropped them chocolate joints to the Oliver Brown, I would take those, but this was another one. Can we do it in one take? One take, one take. Perfect. Perfect. This one is definitely a more recent cop. I was not able to get my own size in these, but y'all see the top of the box. Y'all see a tag size 11 on these. And if we go ahead and take the box top off, flip it open and tear the paper open because I didn't see the sticker. Yes, I was able to get the dunk highs, which are right here. In hand, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of nice little details on these. This is definitely a cool shoe. On the back heels, it says she believes she could, so she did. All those flowers, all that has embroidery in it. There's a little bit of glitter in there as well on these joints. Extra laces with these joints right there. And of course, one of my favorite details on this Dornbecker, which is the cookie recipe behind the tongue. A little hard to see in there because these joints is tied tight, but it's there. That right there is the Dornbecker Dunk High. These definitely better looking in hand than online. And here's that recipe again. This was also inside of the box. Next up, let's go ahead and get this one out the way. I did go ahead and cop some of the Utopia merch. This is one of the items right here. I'm pretty sure this came with a vinyl, the balloon cover vinyl blam right there. And on the inside of this box, we had C4 T, the C4 joint. I'm gonna go ahead and open it because you know, this is a T I'm gonna be keeping. On the back, y'all see it, the Utopia logo. Then on the front, you got my man looking mad crazy on the front. And I I will say, cause you know, I've been a little critical of some of the Travis merch. This tee at least feels better than some of the previous stuff for sure. Oh, and quick side note, I did have an in-store pickup on a sneaker. I finally won a Foot Locker FLX, so let me just run that footage real quick. All right, y'all, so we checking in real quick. Listen, we're actually in Norfolk right now. I'm car at the mall. Bruh, I have never hit on FLX ever in my life. I've never hit. Now, I'll definitely ask if they got a lot more sitting around. I feel like there's a lot of pairs kind of spread around all different stores around the area. There was a lot of pairs of these. Even JD, like JD basically gave me pre-order access for the shoe. So this is the first time I've ever seen JD just give a pre-order instead of just being like, all right, pull up in store and pick it up. Nah, we need you to pre-order these drinks because that's something we got. So like I said, this ain't really a mall that I really take out to a lot. I probably ain't been to MacArthur in like, a couple years on the channel, bro. I just don't really be out here. Go ahead and fill out there and just, uh, you know, see what's up. Fear, guys. All right, y'all. So we here live and direct, bro. The burgundy guys. Disrespect is crazy, but I get it. 225 is burgundy. Okay. Y'all know I got the OG joints. I'm just waiting for them to go on sale and eventually I'm gonna get these because I mean, the fit I got on right now, I usually do the brown pants, but. The fit, the green with these. The wheats eventually, I'm gonna go back and cop for sure. Now these eights to me, I mean, the name is cool, but as far as like a winterized eight goes, and then we had the winterized fours, it's kind of like a winterized chrome in a way. Like 
whatever this material is right here i'm not sure but you know out of all four that i see right here it would be definitely these two are on the top and then of course you know i already got a pair of these i don't even know if i'm unboxed those yet or not but i did go ahead and get a pair of these but i see some of these going on sale for like 20 percent off so listen the deals is there other than that i mean it's it's regular degulars. I mean, I know all y'all want these for sure. I know y'all going crazy for the Cherry 11 Lows, Concord 11 Lows, got the Mellow PEs, the next joints, you know what I mean? Put some respect on them. And uh, Mid Gang, they got everything you need, all right? And Low Gang. These were tucked too. I forgot about these two. I think it's called the Move or Mob Ones. Taupe, one of them joints. They got those too. As far as dunks go, I know somebody might ask, you know, they got these. All right, they got a good little selection of these blue and white joints, you know, blam. Okay, you got these. I mean, y'all's favorite, of course. I mean, you know, we love to hate them. The pandas, definitely got these. They got the low top and they got the high top joints as well. I was looking to see if maybe they had some pennies or something around here, but I don't see any, just some more forces. I checked Nike basketball too, which was over there and I didn't see it, so I don't know. Now I had a few things come from the homies over at Liz HD. This was one of them. Y'all see the inside of the box, all the fittings in there. They went ahead and sent me this Washington fitted with that Topps Chrome Cosmic logo on the side. Mitchell and S logo, my size, size seven and a half. And it came with a couple of packs to break and like a little display piece. This one right here is from the Rust Belt 1.5 collection. You know it's the Rust Belt when they have that copper thread that goes through the logo and that side patch. Now I also got these salutes to the homies over at Common wealth okay these are the diamond a6 gt 2160 this one was you know slightly an on the whim cop but yo every time i see a pair of 2160s these look really really good on feet and this is uh of course the dime collab y'all can see the logo back there but yeah i mean they just you know they clean bro they clean next box we got right here is actually a shoe i've been wanting to try for a while and I actually cop these on sale like a hundred dollars below retail and listen in my opinion bang for your buck these are pretty hard to beat now of course i went ahead and got a little bit of a fancier pair but still this model in general is not bad bro not bad at all but i went ahead and grabbed these joints right here bro i went ahead and grabbed a pair of terminators now this is of course the cdg terminator all right the leathers are just a little bit more plush it's a little bit of you know just a little different it's same same but it's a little different and I actually copped these on Dover Street Market. Now they might still have some, I don't know if they do. All I know is that this shoe retail for, I wanna say 210, 230, and I got them for about, I think 110 or 120, something like that. These joints is all leather, even the inside, the guts, the leather guts on these as well. And I feel like the main thing that throws people off about this shoe is this right here, you know what I mean? But I think when you put your foot in, it's gonna fill in just a little bit, but of course, with pants, that's not really gonna be a problem either. I just wanted a basic black and white Nike that was not a Panda Dunk. <laughs> the Panda Dunks, you know, the Panda Dunks get a lot of hate. I got, I feel like I gotta put respect on it, bro. Like, there's so many people that like this shoe. It's so popular that you gotta kinda hate on it a little bit. But I'm gonna still put some respect. But, you know, I got my fancy, uh, fancy Pandas right here. The CDG Terminators, like I said, I copped these on Dover Street Market. On to the next one, we got this joint right here, and I needed some help from the choir stand for the rest of this vid. This apparently is box B1 size XL. This was another pickup, another album sale, the regular Utopia CD cover, and on the inside of this box, I knew I was definitely gonna get this tee. This was actually one of the first tees that leaked, I believe, for like the Utopia Tour merch or Utopia merch in general. Now, this one seems to be a regular white tee again utopia logo on the front on the back it says the fourth album by travis scott so yes i did pick up another tee and i'm pretty sure there's more than that i just don't know if i got it in the studio right now inside of this box right here we got actually an adidas pickup hold on i was able to lock these down in my size for retail and this is of course the moon boot you know what i mean the adidas moon boot one of the many adidas moon boots but the adidas crazy infinity now this is the original colorway the talc or the chalk joints and i definitely definitely been waiting to try these joints out right here here's a couple quick close-up shots of this shoe right here these joints is definitely definitely crazy looking but a good adidas mom for this year let me go ahead and get this box out the way this was another random cop i walked in jd sports and they had this shoe and i really wanted my size but they did not have it. And of course that is these joints right here, which is the cream and scarab, cream and plum, whatever you want to call them, the gel Kayano 14. This right here is one of the best 
Kino 14 colorways for sure, but I definitely need to find a size 12. This 13 is definitely, definitely floating on me. I tried them on, the heel is just, it's too big. I need true to size, size 12, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to either sell these or trade these and get that 12 pretty easily. But yeah, definitely my favorite part has to be just this color, this plum color on the back just fits very nicely with the shoe but yeah i've had these for a little while and uh yo just randomly at jd they had them and this one right here is a little a little different i've only caught one pair of these so far and this was another colorway that i had seen just at the time when i seen it in the store they didn't have my size but i was able to find these this is a size 12 men's 12 and this is the all over red joints i was trying to decide between the xt4 or the xt6 but of course the all over red was in the xt4 so i was actually able to pick these joints right here all over red with that gradient to the yellow this colorway hold on let me zoom let me zoom real quick got an almost carbon fiber look on the side of course the solomon lab right there the inside of the shoe and of course that bottom because it's basically it's a trail sneaker this was another one i just wanted to go ahead and slide in there hey, pause color is just crazy on this pair we got another one this one right here came straight from nike these right here are yet another pair of Vomeros that i was actually able to hit on on sneakers retail dub nice and easy got these in a size 12 and as y'all can see it is the Vomero. i want to say it's like the supersonic or the sonic colorway but these ones to me was the ones that definitely stood out of course i really love my yellow pair the red ones dropping as well they might have already dropped um, but they're just the glow aspects kind of added something a little bit different to this pair right here. And even something like this unique logo going on the tongue. I mean, it just made for a good, good pair. Another retail dub from Nike. And if I'm not mistaken, one of my only retail SB dubs for this entire year, as far as from Nike go. Inside of this box right here, you of course got that purple Nike SB box. Now I did forget that I had to get these 11 and a half. I tried for the 12, you know, the 12 was gone. Of course the 12 was gone. And we got these right here with a Nike SB sticker on the inside, but we have the candy corn SBs. I want to say that these actually, you know, shock dropped if I remember correctly, but we do have these. The uppers on these is like a super smooth, like leather. This joint is really weird feeling. But listen, SBs for retail, I'll definitely take them. And uh, this will be another one that I might either, you know, sell or trade. I definitely need a 12. SBs to me run a little bit, a little bit snug. I don't know if that's how it is for y'all, but in my opinion, they be running a little snug, so I at least need that size 12, but I will take my dub, okay? Listen, I'll take my dub and I'll move on. Now this shoe inside this box, it got disrespected just a little bit, you know? I think the retail was a thing and maybe just the colorway, but I honestly could have just waited and maybe got these for like 50 bucks under retail, possibly. It's fine, okay? I, I needed them. And inside of this box right here, back, back once again from 2006 in the all over, splatter, cement, whatever, with the burgundy logo yes it is the jordan 5 burgundy i went ahead and got my size size 12 and with the prices being how they are right now for this shoe i ain't gonna lie like if i can scoot one on that 180 you know like under 200 tip you know i might just have to do it okay i might have to go ahead and double up because these joints ain't gonna drop for a long long time if ever again listen you know what i mean these joints is clean okay they nice and clean. Do not be surprised if you just see a random another pair of these. Don't be surprised. I need y'all to go ahead and get y'all Basuda alarms ready because they have landed. Listen, y'all, it's okay to like some Basuda sometimes, all right? And I went ahead and picked this shoe up because I saw the prices starting to rise again. And, um, you know, I got these for $290. Now, of course, it was a damaged box for my pair, which sucks because, you know, I keep my boxes but i'll go ahead and save the uh 30 or 40 dollars for the box you know I'll, I'll save it and no this ain't an ad but if you know if y'all want to do it you know hit my email all right i just went ahead and copy these for myself even just the dust bag itself goes crazy for this shoe and we have the air flea 2. i went ahead and got my size true size 12 and the reason I did that is because I went ahead and tried on the shoe. I already tried on another one. And I thought that true to size was the best fit for me. You know what I mean? I'm size 12 yacht gang, a little bit of a wider foot. And um, really the biggest thing about this shoe is just the outsole because everything else is kind of contained inside of it. Now, if I'm gonna get one, you know, I gotta have two. All right, this is the Flea 2. I don't want the black pair to be lonely out here. And these came straight from Nike. Yes, I hit on these for retail blew my mind but on the inside of these of course is the other colorway which is the faded spruce i don't have to worry about that price going up no more i feel like somebody might screenshot this and throw this in the discord the finesse gang discord link is down below if y'all want to join but uh here's a thumbs up 
that's for when you cop some Basuda. But it's, you know, it's heat though. It's still heat. It's still heat. Another one straight from Nike. Okay, let's do it again. I I lost. I pulled it from the wrong side. That don't count. I, I still, that's crazy. Inside of this box was another one that kind of surprised me, all right? These joints, they went. They came and was gone. I did not know y'all like this shoe like that. And on the inside of this box, of course, now I actually did double up. I think I hit on these for the shock drop. The shock drop, the original shock drop when these came out, I did get a pair. And I feel like I hit on maybe one or two more pairs on release date. Definitely another one from Nike. But yes, the playoff eights. Y'all know I love Air Jordan eights. If you didn't know, the Aqua eight is one of my favorite. It's, it's top five for me. You know, Aqua eights, yes, they're in my top five. Playoffs is not quite there, but still a good pair. And uh, hey, I'm kind of happy, bro. They definitely put respect on these eights for sure. Now this shoe right here is part of a collection that a lot of people have been talking about recently. And yo, salutes to Adidas confirmed. Like they got these joints shipped out within two days. Like they was quick. Y'all see the box label right there. Got these in my true size, a size 12. Let me go ahead and slide these out the box. Yo, this joint's like perfect. Hey, I mean, hey, the packaging on these is great. I mean, I'm gonna just tear it off, but it's it's nice. Somebody, they took care. They took care with this one. The box is, is nice too. It's very simple but all this is if you can see this is actually embossed off the top all the little details are embossed on this box slide go ahead and slide these joints out of here got the extra laces included each shoe is individually wrapped and we have the fear of god 86 low oh this is another one let's go ahead let's zoom in on these joints real quick here's that nice detailed close look at these joints the fear god logo on the back adidas logo d boss there in the suede that's the inside of the shoe and i will say that the sole on these is a lot thicker than i thought it was going to be the thickness on the sole is like two and a half like two or two and a half inches on this joint but i will say that the way these look on the inside the all over suede these joints is looking very very cozy and this is definitely a fall ready colorway and um, one thing you know with jerry it's always about that shape bro y'all see that shape straight down super super sleek toe on this shoe and uh if the basketball joints come in quick enough man i want to do a full review on these joints to kind of let people know what they look like get some more details and you know my overall thoughts especially fit on these but yeah that's the fear god ideas a6 low that was a confirmed dub right there this was a shoe that uh i tripled up on and not really on purpose it was just like the pairs were there y'all see the box the throwback nike box y'all know what time it is man after everyone screamed and screamed and screamed at jb about them they brought them back yes the cherry air jordan 12 now i'm sure y'all have seen a lot about this shoe already but i just wanted to confirm that yes i did get a pair now this one right here you know this is a fun one let's take a trip real quick let's take a little trip to utopia and lasered sneakers it was either i'm copping this or i'm copping the briefcase and i was like i'm gonna use the shoes before i ever use the briefcase so i did go ahead and grab a pair of these the utopia air force ones yes go ahead kill me in the comments yeah i know i went crazy for the supremes i did might be a bit hypocritical go ahead do i wish this shoe was better yes do i wish there was more to it for sure. But again, I like to get some type of collectible thing, some kind of collectible item when a new albums drop. And uh, you know, I was I just wasn't using the briefcase. I felt like this was a better use of 150 than the briefcase. And now you can probably get these joints for under retail. So that's still love. But these will definitely be in the back of the studio. Again, I'm still a sucker for all white forces. And yes, I'll even admit, this, it was lazy. They got me, they got me. Salutes, I guess, to the whole EQL process, and I did get hit with that EQL tax. $5, but the $5 is better than spending resale. So I'll go ahead, I'll eat the five. Hey, yeah. Pause. We got the all over blue or the purple. There you go, you can see it. You got the all over the A's all over the top. Go ahead and take off the top of this box. Hey, say what you want, say what you want. But the details on these, they hit, that's it. These joints is hitting. And you got the Nike on the bottom. I mean, the, the squade. This is asking to get dirty though. Like, yeah, rainy days, these is not, nah, these ain't coming out. But on a regular fall day, you know what I mean? A nice fall, sunny day, you might see these, okay? The monogram logo is, is different, bro. It's different. These right here is nice. These is good. Now, um, you know, it was another one too though. You know, this ain't the only colorway that dropped. More retail dubs. <laughs> Y'all can see it. Size 12. Yacht gang. My size. True to size. Yes, sir. Also got these two. Manual boys. No bots. You know, yet. You know, no bots yet. <laughs> I'm on my year down there. And I, I will be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of this particular logo, but, you know, I'll let it rock. 
I'm on my year joints and I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the first thing that's gotta be done with this shoe is you gotta swap the laces. It's gotta be those sail laces or those white laces, like for sure, ASAP. I mean, y'all see them, blam, there's one. Blam, there's two. What else needs to be said? This pair was another one that I really, really wanted to grab this year. And the price, again, ain't high at all. Inside of here, as y'all can see, yes, the Union Jordan 1, or the Beffy's Beauty Supply and Union Jordan 1, the summer of 96. I just need to show these on cam because I never got to make a proper video on them. But these, to me, is hitting. It might, you know, with the higher prices, is, it might be a little double up on these. I don't know. But yes, I was able to lock in a pair. Now, I also picked these joints up right here from Nike. This was a little bit of an exclusive access drop for anyone that owned anything dot swoosh. Size 12, the Air Force One Low t or this is not a JPEG. Actually, the box is inside out. Y'all can see the Nike Air logo on the top. And I did go ahead and pick these up again. I'm a sucker for forces. And I did have a couple dot swoosh items. So I went ahead and grabbed these. It gave me exclusive access. I said, you know what? Sure. Why not? Tanaj forces are in the building. This is one of the best deals you can get right now, bruh. The Royal Ones, the Reimagined Royal Ones. If you can pick these up for 150 or 160 below retail, regardless. I know some people didn't like the suede, but I just don't, I don't see why, man. I kind of feel like this shoe is just getting, let's zoom in. Okay, let's zoom in. I kind of feel like this shoe is getting some undeserved hate right now because they are not bad. These are nice and clean. These choices is straight to me. I don't know, in person, I don't hate these at all. Some of the sales I've been seeing on these popping up at some outlets. If you see them for low, low, I don't see how you lose with this shoe. I would say go ahead and grab them. Good fall shoe. Just don't wear them on them rainy days. And on to the next one, trust me, nothing has changed. There's nothing different about your screen right now listen we also had this one i picked up i really own way too many pairs of forces but this one was one i was gonna go ahead and let slip by of course the terror squad joints the air force ones i went ahead and grabbed these because we're not having a rockefeller situation okay i have people on my twitch chat saying yo where can i find rockefellers for a good price and i said did you listen to me when i told you to buy them so if you do want these I would say go for them sooner than later before any prices start to jump up. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's clean. It's just black and white terror squads. Okay, listen, they in the stoop. Now, in the time that I totally didn't have to stop recording this video, I also had two new pickups. Put that right there and let's get into this JD pickup. Now, we're gonna be seeing double on this one and I really wanted my actual size, size 12 in this shoe. I walked into JD, I seen on the wall and I just said, yo, do y'all have it in a size 12? And they said, yes, I was surprised. If you have any JD Sports near you, maybe walk in and check. I copped these a few days ago, but they did restock. Does not hurt to call and check if you do got a JD close to you. But yes, I was able to grab these for retail 150. And these right here will be definitely getting worn very soon. This is one of those shoes I was on my tier list that I wasn't sure if I was gonna go for at full retail. I went ahead and just grabbed them because I seen the 12 selling out in a few different spots. So I went ahead and grabbed these salutes to my guys at Cream. And as y'all can see, I have a size 12 in the pennies, bro. Smaller sizes, y'all might be able to play around with some of these basketball shoes, but size 12, those higher sizes, these joints will sell out eventually for sure. And these is just a classic clean colorway. And I'm not gonna lie, if I could find the picture, there is a picture of me as a kid in this specific shoe. This exact one with the magic jersey on and everything. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna call my dad and show him these, but yo, did you see that these dropped? And he'd be like, oh, I remember those. And one detail we noticed is that yes, they did switch it back to that Nike swoosh instead of the Penny logo on the last retro. Now, I actually also had these. I got these on the early shock drop for this shoe. I just did not have time to drop a full review, but I did hit on these when they originally shock dropped on Nike. And y'all see them right here. Size 12, my size, Yacht Gang. We have the Air Jordan 11 with the thank you on the top of the box saying, you know, Nike saying thank you for making these shoes so iconic and thank you for buying them every year. But yes, they have landed in the studio and I'm pretty sure y'all have seen reviews on this shoe already, which is why I did not drop mine. But I will say in person, the leather instead of the ballistic mesh up here is actually a nice touch. Even the leather on the tongue. I was pretty pleasantly surprised when I actually seen these in person because I have been to the mall in the time that these dropped and I've been seeing some of them sit around. So hey, let's just go ahead and appreciate when we can walk in the store and cop the Holiday 11, okay? So the grad twos did land and I had these early, just never got to the vid. Then we got a whole nother one, okay? The flight box, the jets going off in the background. Listen, 
Blam, we taking flight, okay? Jets and all, the red cement fours, the one that everyone hated, they dropped, was going at about retail, a little bit below retail, but now they're starting to creep back up once again. But yes, I did have these and I actually caught them early. And again, I just never got to the review. Now I actually had three more pickups that I wanted to make sure made into the video. Okay, first up being, you know I had to do it, all right? I got a lot of these CPFM fleeces. I think I got purple and I got the rainbow, the rave cowboy joint. So I went ahead and picked up this all over lemon lime, okay? The straight up Sprite fleece from CPFM. And I actually got a decent wash on this one versus the purple one I got. But yes, I did cop this. I was trying to get a size four, which would be an XL. I ended up getting a size large, but y'all see Cactus Plant Flea Market size three. And I did pick this one up for myself. I copped this one on uh, Human Made, okay? Up next, forgot I had this t-shirt, but let's go ahead and tear out the pack. Listen, it's brand new, okay? This is the Circus Maximus T. Still has that slightly heavier feeling from the T from before. I just went an XL. And yes, I got some more. Travis Utopia merch, okay? I just wanted something a little different. One I didn't think everybody was gonna pick up, but yes, Circus Maximus joint. What else needs to be said? Another size XL, y'all see the Utopia on the back. I believe this one's called the Screw T. This one also had a side print, and then that right there was a graphic on the front. This is one of the later tees that dropped. Other than that, I ain't got no more Utopia merch on the way. And then we got another big box. Let's jump into next year real quick, okay? I know we in 2023. Let's just take a quick trip to 2024. Inside of this box right here, we got something, you know, a little different. Of course, in my size yacht gang, size 12. And I just feel like the color blocking, when you use Chicago color blocking on the one, you just really, you can't mess with it. It's a very, very hard combo to mess up. And of course, I will be dropping the full review on these and I'm gonna be giving these joints away this Thursday on whatnot. Of course, the link will be down below to that. Let's just go ahead and get these shoes up out of here, all right? It's a lot of wrapping going on. Let me just go ahead and try to take one of these out. Okay, there we go. Let me take these out, all right? Y'all ain't gonna lie, like, first impressions, like, off the rip. Of course, these remind me of, like, the Rookie of the Year ones as well, just because of this material switch up. But the leather, this tumble, the tumble is kind of, you know, it's kind of nice on these. We're not gonna name the shoe that shall not be named. It ain't that, but in hand, this is nice. This is gonna be one of the first Jordan drops of 2024. Of course, we got the Celadon or the Celadon Jordan 1s coming as well, those green and orange joints, but I just, I kinda like these a little bit better just cause of the color block. Now, we honestly been getting a good amount of yellow and black ones with the pollens, the taxis. There's been a few different yellow ones on the way, but these, these are nice. I will say that the yellow, that yellow ochre is a little bit darker than what you might think. But here's some more of those close-up details. Of course, I'm gonna be having that early review on the way for y'all the wings logo okay we got the yellow insole size 12 yacht gang with the nike air inside of there and these joints also do come with these extra sale laces right here as y'all can see and like i mentioned before i will be giving these away on whatnot listen the link is always down below in the description follow that link get the app and make sure y'all follow me and bookmark the shows i'll make sure a title whichever show i'm giving these away on it'll have yellow ochre jordan one giveaway up there trust me make sure y'all go ahead and drop a like on this biz sub up if you haven't already and finesse the bell as well y'all let me know what y'all been picking up lately what was your favorite pickup from this insane pickups video this is five months worth of pickups and there's probably a couple more there's a couple doubles that i didn't even get a chance to really show y'all y'all know where to follow me here there buzz by of course bud rc and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video that's all i got for today time to go edit much love all right peace had to get that fatty up, yeah, pop yeah. my trunk, mm, yeah, Betty duck, mm, yeah, leave him stuck, mm, yeah.